a polar cold front reaching Scotland at the end of October could bring snowy conditions as soon as next week. The autumnal chill in the air could become distinctly wintry when a volatile weather pattern moves in. The cold front could plunge temperatures down to 6 C, according to a meteorologist. Early indications for November show snow could fall over high ground in Scotland, according to Jim Dale, senior meteorologist at British Weather Services. It follows Storm Babbitt's barrage of fierce rain and wind that brought severe flooding and took seven lives across the UK. Now Scots may be bracing for freezing weather and high winds. Speaking to the Express, Mr Dale identified a bitter cold front moving in at the end of October and into the first few days of November. The weather could push the mercury far below zero and down to 6 C in some areas. Mr Dale said, there are early indications of colder slash polar weather moving in early November, at least temporarily. If it confirms, then snow in the highlands, Grampians, southern uplands, Snowdonia and the Pennine tops is perfectly possible. If that polar air digs in, the forecaster added, northern parts of the UK could see temperatures reach 6 C. He said, at the same time, high winds and then freezing temps may well then ensue as the polar air digs in, the icy conditions being mainly for northern parts of the UK, perhaps a 6 C or so for the glens. While they constitute a dramatic wintry turn, the meteorologist added these harsh temperatures would only last for a day or so. Join the Daily Records WhatsApp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages. The front could be an indication of what to expect this winter, Mr Dale said, as I say, it's some way off yet but it is a clear sign of low pressure volatility for the UK and a very early wintry sign of what's to come. Climate change does not mean we won't see a spell of hazardous wintry weather. Indeed I expect we will see a number of such occasions going forward. Don't miss the latest news from around Scotland and beyond. Sign up to our daily newsletter.